agents of change. Eren Keskin was born on 24th of April 1959 to a Kurdish father and a Circassian mother in the city of Bursa. Under the influence of her family, she grew up with a sympathy for leftist politics. She graduated from the Faculty of Law of Istanbul University. She fulfilled her childhood dream of becoming a lawyer and began taking on political cases. In 1989, she became the director of the Human Rights Association, of which she was already a member. During the state of emergency of the early 1990s, when the village court system, emptying of villages and execution without trial and disappearances had become state policy in Kurdish majority areas, she took part in committees formed to fight against the grievous human rights violations in the region. During visits to the region, she was the target of verbal as well as armed attacks. In 1990s, nearly 200 cases were brought against her. In 1995, she was convicted in one of these. Due to an article Keskin published in the newspaper Odgur Gundam, titled The World Oaths Adept to the Kurdish People, she spent six months in jail because she had used the word Kurdistan. One area in which Keskin has fought against is that of sexual abuse of women. In her work during the 1995 imprisonment, she learned that nearly all of the women, many of whom were former clients, have suffered sexual abuse during their time in prison and, after her release from prison in 1997, in order to address this issue, she formed the Legal Assistance Office Against Sexual Abuse and Rape in Custody. Within 20 years, hundreds of women sought the assistance of the office, which continues to operate today. In 2002, in a case brought against her for a speech she gave in Germany on the subject of state torture, she was sentenced to 10 months in prison on the grounds that she had insulted the intangible personality of the Turkish armed forces. Her sentence was converted into a fine, which was paid with donations gathered in a campaign undertaken by the Human Rights Association. That same year, the disciplinary board of the Turkish Bar Association issued a decision to bar her from working as a lawyer for, for one year. During this period, the mainstream media engaged in a smear campaign against her. Today, there are still 143 open cases against her, one for the speech she made and the others concerned with the works which, which she performed voluntarily. Despite all, Keskin refuses to be intimidated. If you believe that what you are doing is right, fear cannot prevail. These are the words of Eran Keskin. She stands for equal rights and freedoms for all sometimes under the most difficult and life-threatening conditions. She continues to work on political cases mainly related to the freedom of expression and thought. She also works on cases related to sexual violence, torture, ethnic identity, racism, discrimination in the context of LGBTI+, and women's rights, as well as enforced disappearances, unidentified murders, deaths in custody, and the Armenian genocide. She continues to defend human rights in Turkey bravely and uncompromisingly. She is standing by victims with the institution and efforts she manages and takes part in. Even though Eren Keskin has been the object of death threats, physical attacks and hate speech because of her criticism of the government, she continues her fight to bring human rights violations onto the agenda for the people of Turkey and the world. This text was written by Aisha from Mersin, Turkey, and I am Paula Sanchez for the Agents of Change podcast. For the world goes to where we take it.